In this video, we're going to look at creating a new card user and issuing them with a card. To do this, click on the card users menu and then choose the option called card users. On this screen, select the button called new card user, which will bring you to the new card user setup type options. These options are use counters or manual entry. These options are used to issue the card user with a unique user ID. By using the manual entry number, you can specify the number yourself. This may be a payroll number or an employee number or a student number, for example. Or you can use the use counters option where the system will issue the next available number in the list. In this example, we're going to use the use counters option. Depending on how your system's set up, your number ranges may start with a different letter, but for this example, we go with the letter A. And you can see here, it's issued the user with the next available number. You've then got the card number box where we enter in the card number. This number may be found printed on the card itself, or if not, you may need to seek assistance with whoever issues the cards as they will need to give you the appropriate number. We then have the contact info screen where we can enter in a title, full name, middle initials, or surname. The title and middle initials are optional, but the forename and surname boxes are compulsory. So in forename, we enter in the forename and then enter a surname. You have a validity option. This can be used if you want the card to stop working at a certain point in time, otherwise, Leave as it is and the card will keep working until you come back into the user's record to mark them as inactive. You then have some group settings for user groups. This can be used to put the user into a specific group. So when you're running your reports, you can specify a unique group of people to pull the information for. So for example, user group one, we could set the person as a staff member or a temporary member or whatever groups you have set up. So we'll set the person as staff. You do have some user groups two, three, and four, depending on whether you use or need them. Once you've got your information set, click save, and that's your new card user created. Thank you.